And so, after five years of more or less active content making, I've reached my 20,000 subscriber milestone. Now, of course, as with any other milestone I've reached, I offer a Q&A for viewers and yeah, you sent in quite interesting questions here and there, but most of them were just boring. So I'll be skipping most generic ones. But before I go into that, let's do some ball washing for my greatest supporters. Starting off with Kate Dickinson, uh, presumably a fake name, but nonetheless, this person was the first one to donate me something, anything, and that was actually incredible. 50 bucks just when I had about 100 subs. That particular donation has stuck in my mind as a motivator for making content, a good content that is. As said, that one particular donation stuck in my mind as a reminder that I have to make content. Was that good or bad result for the video? This was an encouragement for me to keep on trying, trying and trying again. I suppose that first 50 was really the reason why I stuck throughout these years. Huh, kinda interesting, huh? Nevertheless, on to the Patreon! Now, to save a little bit of time, there on the screen you can see every single one of the patrons that support me monetarily, even a little bit. All of you guys are a reminder to me that I need to make quality content and keep trying to improve it. So huge, huge thank you to all of you. And I suppose it'd be just fair to say big thanks to Yeglas, who has been supporting me for the longest time. Two years and counting. And hey, if any of you want to become my supporter, feel free to do so, even just for a month. I thank for every single fucking dollar, so thanks, everyone. And so finally, on to the questions. And of course, as I said before, patrons get the privilege to be the first. Do you have or plan to have streaming and upload schedule that is more structured, i.e. Mondays and Fridays? Um... I already release videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and stream on Mondays and Fridays, so... Yeah, there you go. Where did you learn English? Well, school, obviously. Um, where else? And, of course, a lot of cartoons. And I mean a lot of cartoons. Question, what's the name of that cute little bug which keeps appearing for milliseconds in your videos? Also, can you make it last a little longer? Ah, well, I suppose you caught me. So the name you already know, but then again... I guess you can search for May Sky. But till then, I guess I'm off. What are your favorite non-space slash sci-fi games? Hmm, well actually that's a hard one, I suppose... Counter-Strike and Team Fortress would be the ones? A Need for Speed Underground 2? And... um... I got nothing for now, at least. Will you be playing new games in the near future, or maybe return to some old ones like Plant Side 2? Return as in full-time return? No. As for new games, uh, Star Citizen is certainly a game that I'm gonna be looking into, though I'm not quite sure how much will I be making for it. Still, branching out a little bit would be a good thing. Yamix, are we ever gonna see what the most famous space Latvian looks like? Well, probably. This year I'm going for the Frontier Expo, so you might see me there. But on the serious note, if I would ever go full-time with the channel or my content in general, I'd feel responsibility to actually show at least who's behind the camera. Both as a little thank you and as a, I suppose, a little duty call? <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Fuck! How big is your dick? 20 in total? Seriously? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, not the question, it's alright, it's average in the first place, but anyways, why so many asked for this? Anyways, how did you get into YouTube? Well, originally it was sort of a bet with a friend, um, though before that I did want to make some uh, content and uh, yeah. Well, if you look at my first videos, uh, well, that is five years ago, not seven years ago, when I actually, uh, you know, made the content, or rather the channel itself, it's gonna be a cringe fest. What games are you interested in showcasing on this channel, currently? Well, first of all, of course, games that I'm passionate about, and second of all, games that are viewed in general. After all, if no one watches, I mean, what's the point? I might as well just play on my own. It's actually interesting that I made a jump from a pure FPS player guy sort of a channel to a space sim, and was successful. Alright, so let's take a little intermission. So recently I started collecting a couple of uh, quotes that people made about me, or rather my voice, and compared it to different things. So here are a few examples. So I've been compared to Count Dracula, Count Count, I've been called Transylvanian Tommy Vazoo, you know, the guy who made the movie Room, Strongbad, Kimi Raikkonen, and also once I got this comment. 
I thought he was Scottish who hit puberty. So yeah. You got any more? In the meantime, back to the questions. I like watching you fap. Okay, that's uh, weird, but anyways. Um, and my question is, why is your voice so sexy? Oh my, and what was the last lie you told? All right, so starting with the voice. Um, well, when I was smaller, and even now, I kind of wish that I had this deep, booming voice so I could, you know, make all sorts of uh, cool sounds and, and uh, other things and phrases and whatnot else. But what I'm stuck with is this squeaky little shit. Oh, and here's a little bit of audio wizardry that I have been able to conjure up. So now you could possibly hear me talk about dicks in this voice. As for the last lie, probably one of the questions I answered is already a lie in some regard, so I guess one of them? Damn, bro! Good job sticking with the channel over the years! How was it like back in those days? Well, I do remember I actually started making uh, videos just as the old layout, you know, with all the custom backgrounds and other things, got changed. And now you got that stupid banner, and that's all you got. That's so bad, I hate it. What is your commander's backstory? Uh, I wish I had a story for it, but uh, I haven't thought of it that much, so yeah. Did you stop Plantside 2 or will you make videos on it again? Well, this summer, as much of it is left anyways, I'll be trying to make Idiots of Axis 6. Uh, was it 6 or 5? I think, yeah, 6. And maybe one or two more things when the anniversary comes. As for everything else, yeah, there's not much to make videos about in Plantside 2. What the fuck do these symbols in the start of the video mean? Well, the usual answer I give to that is, uh, fans of certain something will understand. And no, not fans of mine. Do you secretly love mining? No. Where do you stand on political compass? Uh, there's a picture. Hope you're happy. How do the things you say in the vids come into your mind? Well, a cop-out answer would be through my ears. But in general, it's a selection of all sorts of uh, sources, be those cartoons, uh, other comedians, or just random interesting stuff that I pick up. And I suppose a great deal of imagination too. If you could add anything to Elite Dangerous, what would it be? Well, let's see. My personal favorite aspect that I've been always clamoring for is space legs, or the FPS aspect for the Elite Dangerous. Other than that, I don't know, it'd be interesting to have Plantside 2 combined with Elite Dangerous, because, you know, I like to be two dead horses at the same time. How long do you spend on writing the scripts for each video? And do you only play Elite for videos anymore? Or do you actually go outside and do other stuff outside the content creation? Um, these days, actually this whole fucking week I've been making videos, so not really at this point. Cause uh, it's been a week and I made, well, counting this video, uh, seven videos in this just one fucking week. But uh, no, actually there are a couple of things that I'd like to do outside of content content creation that wouldn't really fit for that. Um, <coughs> engineers be the one thing that I kinda want to do on my Python. And other things, of course. And for another intermission, here's a random comment of the day. My leathery wings fold around you, Yamix. Hot, hot breath upon your scrawny, unwashed neck. And the whinny sound you make as my fangs sink into your rather unsatisfying thin blood. Are you excited? Well, uh, who else is aroused? No, I shit you not, this was under my Type 9 review. I honestly don't know why, but hey, there's that, I suppose. Will you improve your YouTube channel in any direction? If yes, what will you change? Improve? Well, let's see. Well, improvement-wise, I suppose I started doing uh, streams, so that's an improvement for the channel. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's not much else I guess I can do, uh, since, you know, all the old backgrounds are gone. Although, I actually could change the banner. Yeah, I could do that. How long have you had love for sci-fi, and how did you discover it? Sci-fi, well, uh, that's an interesting one. When it comes down to it, I guess Matrix and Aliens uh, were the two movies that kind of pulled me in on the whole sci-fi thing. Then, of course, there was the Stargate, and uh, later on, a few other things, but in general... Yeah, those would be the core things that I kinda enjoyed uh, earlier on. As for how long, well, since I saw Aliens, and that probably was at around age of 5? 
it was at the time just portions of the movie, but even so, I still remember loving it. No, oh, I guess Duke Nukem also helped in that regard. <laughs> if you could have your dream job with no barriers to achieve it, what would it be? Well, originally I wanted to do something with computers because I love games, and here goes Duke Nukem again. Later on I discovered that, you know, programmers uh, create the games and, and so on and so forth, so I decided, well, I'm gonna become a programmer, and, uh, well, in a way I've done it already. And on the other hand, well, now I have, well, this, this channel, the fanbase and other things, and I'm still doing stuff with games. And I got to say, uh, whatever way I go, as long as it is with the games, it's pretty much gonna be my dream job. What keeps you coming back to Elite? Wow, that's a good question. Now, I remember when I got first my uh, Sotis runs done and so on and so forth, I finally got money for everything, you know, I didn't have to worry about it. I actually, you know, started realizing how much there is to do or how much there is that I haven't done in the game. Before that, I got to say, uh, what brought me back was the wish that I could one day do those things. So that's kind of a sad message there for devs out there, you know. How do you keep your motivation up for the game? Well, let's see. It's mostly to do with content creation, to be honest. The same thing went for Planet Side 2. After two years of playing Planet Side 2, I was really burnt out and I didn't really want to play it anymore. But what kept me playing was my YouTube channel. As for really Danger, uh, there's a lot more to do in it, so I still haven't quite done it all, so, you know, there's always something, something, something to do. But in both cases, if I didn't have my YouTube channel or my fan base or whatever else, the community itself is something that is worth coming back to. What is the most efficient way of beating a dead horse? Okay, so first, what you must do is travel to Canada. Yes, Canada. Go search for Eskimos, fuck them all to death, take their seal clubs, then go find a Mountie, beat him and his horse. But mostly his horse. So out of the 123 potential comments, I'd say there might be 50 questions. And 15 about your dick and anus. Actually, that's, that's lower than the actual number. How sad or weird is that? Anyways. So from pool of 35 questions, including mine, have you looked at Destiny 2? And what are your thoughts on MMO FPS in general? And what do you think? We ask too much as players from these devs. That is about Elite Dangerous, of course. Okay, so Destiny 2. No, I have not looked into it. MMO FPS. I really loved the idea behind Plant Side 2. It had a great potential with proper artist team, as well as other things like, uh, oh, I don't know, competent programmers. And as for asking too much as players from devs to do things or whatever else, uh, no. We are customers, and that's what we do. That's what we should do. Otherwise, devs get lazy and they stagnate, and I know very well how that happens. Yeah. Okay, so Mad Scientist gives you a magical device where you can turn one video game into a real-life human lady. Oh, and here I was hoping for a changeling. Anyways, which game would you turn into a lady? And can you describe her to us in great detail? Oh my, okay, let's start. Now, of course it won't be Elite Dangerous or Plant Side 2, because, well, Plant Side 2 would be a dead horse. And Elite Dangerous would be possibly the fattest chick around, dressed in scientist clothes, but dumb as a brick. Hmm, now that I think of it, uh, it probably would be Duke Nukem 3D. Yeah, she'd be just like Seth MacFarlane, constantly spouting references to many things as if that was humor, yet would look like an Amazon and I would fuck that. So which part of Elite would you say is in most need of changeling? Uh, changing. Uh, that definitely would be economy. Uh, grind and so on and so forth is just possibly the worst fucking thing in the game. Uh, next followed by power play and engineers. And then faction ranks. And finally, if you had to choose dropship or Cobra 4. Uh, yeah, definitely dropship. Because that thing at least I can respect for its capabilities, but Cobra 4... Fuck no! And I suppose there you go, that's the 20,000 milestone Q&A. If you really enjoyed my videos throughout the years and whatnot else, for this day, well hey, why not share your favorite video with someone else that hasn't seen me, and introduce them to a glorious overuse of dick jokes, among other things. But all in all, thanks for supporting me, be that on Patreon or just by watching and sharing. The next goal I set for myself is 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year, that is, uh, in 5 months. So 
Although who knows, I might actually reach it. But even if I don't, it's incredibly humbling to see all your support. And once more, I guess I sound like a broken record, but thank you, all of you.